Hey everyone, it's the Crafty Curse here, back for another video. Um, I believe this is probably going to be a real quick video. Um, I have to get this video done and get it uploaded. Um, this is episode number 98, I think. And most of the what I have to show you today is I have one finished object and the rest is whips. As you can tell, my cat is in here with me purring up a storm. So, yeah. And I am going to try to figure out how to do a tutorial um, to show how I do my baby blanket that I made, the pink one that I made recently. So, I will show you how I do that. Because um, I want to get started on another one. So, that's what I'm going to show you today. This will be my first tutorial. So, please bear with me. Um, so, let's get started. So, my first finished object is, a, is this duck that I made. You can see the duck. And it is from a pattern. The lady showed my grandma a picture. And my grandma showed me the picture. And she said, do you think you can make this? I said, sure. Um, the only thing I did was I adjusted how long the arms and legs were going to be. So, they're very spindly. And they have um, pipe cleaners in them. So, she sets them, like, on her shelf. On a shelf, they'll, they'll dangle over. Which, so... So yeah, so the pattern I got out of this book, I have my pencil in there I think, yeah, I had a pencil stuck in there, but it is out of this book, Crochet and Play, Snuggle and Play Crochet, it has 40 patterns, and it is by Carolina Guzman Benitez, I think that's how you say that. And this is the duck that you could have, you made, or supposed to make. Now, I don't want to give too much away. The only thing I did differently is, you see how short the legs are and the wings are? I just did more rounds when it was straight, single crochet, and made them a little longer. And I stuffed the wings, and in the pattern, the wings are not stuffed. So, so yes, that is the little duck that I made. Little feet. So, yes, that is that. That will be given, I had to do this video today, because tomorrow we are going um, to a flea market to get our ham for our Christmas dinner. And then after that, I am going straight up to my mom. So I didn't would not have had another day to do that. And the girl that it is for works Thursday and Friday. So I figured I'd just do this video tonight, get it done, get it over with. But I do like talking to you guys. So now we are into whips. So I work pretty heavily on this baby blanket. And my mom had this great, 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 great idea that I need to work on baby blankets to keep here at the house. And then when my grandma says I need a baby blanket, I can be like, oh, okay, let me go get the bag and you can pick one. I think my goal is 10 just to keep like around here. So as you can see, I'm pulling stitches out. It is very big. This is called the Midwife Baby Blanket. It is six blocks. And I measured it. It is about two feet wide. It's about 24, 24 and a half inches wide. I'm not sure how long I'm going to make it. Um, I have this much left in the cake or in the skein. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and use it all up. It might be like a better crib blanket than anything else. 
but just to keep, just to, you know, have, like, baby blankets, like, one hand for when my gram asks for one. I can be like, oh, yeah, okay, I have a bag, I'll go get the bag, and then we can talk. My other work in progress is this one. It is attached. It is my granny stitch, granny stripe blanket. Um, I decided that this is going to be a baby blanket also. It is made with Karen Big Cakes. And I have, I am that far. And the duck, I used a 3.75. I always forget to tell you this when I'm showing the object. The duck what I made with a 3.75. And the yellow baby blanket I am making with a 5. And this is how much I have left of this cake. And somebody asked in my comments what these were. Um, I took some polymer clay and cut them into little rectangles. Took some paint and wrote my my um my hook my hook sizes. And as you can see, I am using a 550. And then I took the the glaze and put on the top of them so that the paint did not smear. Now some of them are a little messed up because I didn't wait for the paint to dry and it smeared. And what I used to write the numbers is I found this cool idea where you take a pen and put the paint on the tip of the pen and then you can kind of like write the numbers. So that was pretty easy. And this video only I am going to add a frog section to it because I have this part, this starting of a shawl here. And I am not liking this. I like, I love the pattern. Don't get me wrong. It's just I already made three or four of these. And I think I just burnt myself out. So I think I am going to frog this. Um, I was using random bits of impeccable or pretty much any yarn that I could find. Um, so that is going to get frogged. Now, the one thing I do want to tell, show you and tell you is I, this year, I am keeping track of how much, I have two more finished objects, I think. So let me go grab them real quick. I completely forgot about these two until I was looking at and thinking about my book. So, I have this lacy, very, very lacy shawl that I made. It is quite long. As you can see, it fills up the whole camera, pretty much. Um, I do not know what pattern this is. I really, really wish I could remember it because I really do like this pattern. This was made with a six millimeter hook and the yarn is Mandala Baby in the Honey Dukes colorway. So that is that. Very pretty. And then this is the sh same shawl pattern that I am sadly frogging. It is the Pass to Eden shawl. And it is made with an 8mm hook. Sorry. It is made with an 8mm hook. And, um, it is pretty big. And it is in the Callaway Red Heart Super Saver Grenadine. Now, <clears throat> like I said, this year, I want to keep track of everything that I have made and how much it weighs. Because that at the end of the year I want to be like okay why well, use this many grams of yarn this year now the 12 point baby blanket I'm going to go through all these really really quickly I have them but they're over there and they're piled up together and I don't want to bring them over here because they're nice and neat um so the 12 point baby blanket and the mermaid colorway 
was 117.5 grams. My past to Eden shawl, which is the pink one that I just showed you in the grenadine, was 255.3 grams. You're making this very difficult, kid. The lacy shawl, which is in the Honey Dukes colorway, was 140.9 grams. The V-stitch and double crochet blanket that I made with, for the little girl with the Red Heart Super Saver Jazzy was 464.7 grams. My triangle shawl with eyelets, which is the Madrid, which is the spice colorway, was 370.1 grams. And my favorite shawl pattern, which is the one that I made, the sweet roll yarn in, which is the um, green, purple, and blue, that was 368.5 grams. I also finished a knitted beanie that I turned into a messy bun hat, and it is what it was 59.1 grams. That is the only thing I have, those are all the finished objects that I have this far. And I also wanted to tell you that I went to the Dollar Tree, it's where everything's a dollar, and I didn't need buttons, but I found buttons. So, I found these cute little containers, I got four of them, the colorful ones. They had ones there that were all black, and I didn't want them. But they were like blacks and browns, but I wanted the color ones. So I got four containers of buttons. There is all different kinds, all different colors, all different size circles. Um, yeah, I, I love these. They're awesome. I find them, I've been finding them there a lot. And so if you need buttons, go to your local Dollar Tree. I found these ones in the front where the checkout is. Um, like I said, they had ones with darker colors, and they had ones with um, the colored ones, and I chose the colored ones. So, like I said, it's going to be a short video. Um, I don't have anything else to show right now, so I'm just going to leave you guys here. And I will make another video trying to explain how I do my baby blanket that I finished recently. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye.